your first alert forecast with meteorologist Chelsea Aaron. All right, y'all, 12, 17, kind of just gloomy, cloudy out there, but it's not too bad. I mean, it's not an all day super soaker. It's kind of here and there, right? Yeah, Chelsea? Gina, there are going to be some dry hours throughout the day, but I think the wet hours are definitely going to overrule some of the drier hours. So make sure you have the rain gear. We're talking umbrellas, rain boots. Gina came in with her rain boots today. I should have taken some notes from her. Yes, some scattered showers, even a few thunderstorms continue to track north northeast across the valley this afternoon and I think the heaviest rainfall that's going to be coming overnight but the great news is no severe weather is expected I think overnight it's just going to be some good sleeping weather this is as our next weather maker continues to push into the valley some heavier rainfall down into portion of central Mississippi and along the coast. But again, all of this heavy rainfall will be pushing in likely as we head late this evening, taking you out to northeast Alabama. Some more moderate to heavier pockets of rain now moving through Scottsboro. Heads up, Henniger. You're seeing some light showers for now, but just give it 15 to 30 minutes and you will get some heavier rain as we head into the rest of your afternoon. Also tracking some heavier rain showers in portions of southern middle Tennessee towards Lincoln, Franklin, also Moore County. There near Petersburg, Winchester, and also Huntland. We will see some heavier pockets of rain throughout the day. If you're going to be out and about voting for Super Tuesday, just make sure you are taking it easy on the roadways. Here's a live look at the parkway. Travel is flowing there smoothly, and current temperatures are trending a bit cooler due to added rain chances and also cloud cover. Most areas will only stay in the low and mid 60s as we head throughout the rest of your afternoon. Polls stay open through 7 o'clock this evening, and we do have a 48 first alert in effect for the possibility of some stronger storms. Any stronger storms that develop as we head into your late afternoon and into your evening will be capable of producing some brief damaging wind gusts and also locally heavy rainfall at times. I think the bigger threat is going to end up being flash flooding. So again, make sure you are watching out for ponding and standing water on the roadways. Heavier pockets of rain will continue to track north northeast throughout your afternoon and as we head into your evening hours this is likely going to be our most widespread and also heavier rain we will see some of those red even yellow colors coming into play likely by 10 o'clock and again we will start drying out by your early morning hours on wednesday but it will take some time so before you head out the door for wednesday make sure you grab the rain gear especially if you live in northeast alabama because you likely will stay wetter than northwest alabama temperature will not budge much overnight with most locations staying upper 50s, low 60s, but we look to trend a bit drier and also a bit warmer heading throughout your day on Wednesday with temperatures getting close to near 70 degrees. Cloud cover will stick with us through the day on Wednesday and winds will be back out of the north. We will trend drier heading into Thursday, but yet more rain as we end your week on Friday. How much rain are we talking through Wednesday morning? Well, most locations will receive anywhere from an inch and a half to likely two inches, and we are going to add on to those rain totals as we near the end of your week and into your upcoming weekend. Friday will will be our next day to watch for possibly some stronger storms. But right now the main area of concern looks to be well to our south, but still we're going to be dealing with some heavy rain at times. Rain will end early on Saturday. That's the good news and we will stay dry as we head throughout the rest of your weekend on Sunday. Don't forget about daylight saving time. Yes, we will spring forward one hour. Unfortunately, you are going to be losing an hour of sleep, but the good news is hey, we're going to be gaining more daylight. We will trend drier as we head into your next work and school week.